Hello, Monsters Abound here, and I am very excited to announce an exclusive opportunity for you, my glorious golden head and muscular viewers. I'm working together with Trailerland, Cornwall's premier entertainment venue. I mean, the only other one is the Eden Project and that shit. Anyway, Trailerland is a fantastic and fun-filled day out for the entire family. Assuming your family really likes trailers. At Trailerland, you can see the trailers. You can stand near the trailers. I'm sure you can take pictures of the trailers or of yourself standing near the trailers if you ask nicely. What more could you ask for? As a special deal, once you've found Trailerland, which is located in the arse end of nowhere down some really narrow Cornish country lanes, assuming you don't mean a tractor coming the other way and have to reverse for three miles to the nearest passing point, just give Trevelyan, the resident mostly human, Cornishman at the gates, I say mostly because he's from Red Ruthway, the special Monsters Abound handshake, and he'll let you in totally free of charge. Or don't, because you don't have to pay anyway. What a deal! Either way, an unforgettable day is assured. Oh, and if Trevelyan gets a bit the hills have eyes, as he sometimes does when he's hungry, just spray him with one of the handy water bottles located around Trailerland. It's literally like acid to him. And try not to worry about his gurgling screams when you do spray him. He, like the lobsters he's genetically related to, probably can't feel pain. Well, I'm sure you're all desperate to head out and see some trailers, but first, it's time for part 38 of my Avalon campaign in Total War, Warhammer 2, Mortal Empires. And last time, we captured Marineburg, which was good, we we're under siege by Beastmen, which is bad, and we're moving armies into position in Nagrond, which is... meh? Uh, so... Yeah, the beastmen are a problem. How does my garrison look? Um, um, I mean, it's not, it's not awful. It's, it's just not. Give the word. It's just not going to be able to hold that off. I don't think. Um, hmm. Hmm. Uh, we do have Alistair. Lethal grace given form. Indeed he is, there he is, he's, uh, he's recruiting. Unfortunately we don't have the, the White Lions of Trace building, so I need to build that up first. So we're going to do that. He should be ready in, I, I think, what are we looking at, about four turns? The four turn. I mean, maybe that's enough? I should have, I should have dealt with him. I should have dealt with them, but I didn't, I... Never mind, it's probably going to be fine. It's going to be absolutely fine, no problem. No problem. Arnold? You're going to secure influence, as you always do. Nice work. You're now max rank as well. Look at that. And Melanar, you're going to follow in his footsteps, and you rank up, and I've got to give you a skill point somewhere. Who cares? Have a have a horse. There you go. Never let it be said I don't give you an energy. Siobhan, Siobhan, you are an absolute terror. I could give you Indomitable, but I don't think you really need it, so... Stimulate growth? It's about the only other thing I can think of. I think that's generally fine. Uh, Litania, who the frig are you? Uh, oh, Aleth, you're Alice. You're Alice. Um, oh, well, you get immortality, mage. That's what you are. Uh, how many turns do we need? Three more turns. Is that... I mean, we've got Tyrion. We could march him into the Circle of Destruction over there. What we... I need... I, right, who do we have? You're a noble. You're a newbie noble. You, I, were you going to link up with Tyrion? I await your or Alice? Revenge. Alice needs one, doesn't he? He needs, who are you? You're a mage. Okay, well you, you come over here. Why the hell not? Girithot, you can, yeah, you, you, you're going to go and link up with, with I might have, I might have already meant to do that, and I've I completely forgotten. Not that ever happens to me. I'm always on the ball. And we've got two armies. We've got Malekith and Marathi here, uh, both of which have... Well, Malekith's army is mostly Sisters of Slaughter, so it's not too bad. Marathi's does have a few Harganeth Executioners and, black, and a Black Dragon, and a Spiky Hydra, and a Normal Hydra. So... That's a thing. Warden of Safari. Rowan, you're going to come over here. And we're just going to get David to just continually kick the walls in. That's what he does best. Spread public order. Sure, do that. Do that. I'm hoping, having taken Marineburg... 
that it'll give the the Empire and Bretonius imp impetus. I've also been funneling money to the Empire, hoping they're going to get an army up. Because they need to start retaking the Reichland. Who does at war the Skaven? I mean, that could be use. Oh, hello. Little cheeky confederation there. What's going on there, eh? Okay, the dwarves are still holding out to, to Karazakarak. How for how long? I don't know. They're surrounded by vampires and greenskins, so. Not sure how they're going to do. Don't know where Malekith is off to. I might... If we can jump Malekith's army. It's a bit of a sneak attack, but... um. I mean, it's against Dark Elves. Those who speak the truth no, Ark! Uh, fuck! Go away! Piss off! No! Bugger off. I'm busy. I don't want to make friends with you. Jesus, what go on. What matters do you wish to lay before the Ever Queen? Hey, buddy. You want an aggression pact? Um. Yeah, all right. All right. I, I, can, I can get down with that. It's going to upset Setra a little bit, but tough. Tough shit. So yeah, it looks like, a, looks like the Wood Elves are taking out the Skaven, which... I mean, it's not... It's alright. I'm not particularly worried about the Skaven, though. I am slightly concerned about this army down here. Uh, the Bray Herds come where? Over there. That's not necessarily the worst. We do have Malekith marching. I mean, we could jump him, couldn't we? Is Tyrion... He could reach Hagrief. Okay. Okay, this is what we're going to do. It's a bit... It's not... How many? You just need two turns to get there. Okay, and Alice, you are replenishing. You'll be ready in a couple of turns. You can maybe land. Oh, we do have this army over here. You can be land at Harganeth. We'll grab that. But we do. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Behold, Elven beauty. Okay, we're going to attack Malekith. We're going to we're going to attack now because it's a good time to wipe his army out. He's marching. And his army's not very strong, so we can we can give him a little sucker punch. And we could potentially... What? I've got a few armies there. We could go and hit this army over... Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a little right. We're going to do an invocation of Aisha. So let's just give it immunity from attrition. Teclis, you're going to go and attack Grungzint. Uh, I think we can just auto resolve that one. And we're going to raise it. Killed a few people. Excellent. Well, I say kills. I mean, obviously, they're, they're vampires. And do we. Let's see if we can. I don't think they'll probably come this direction. I imagine they might retreat. Maybe they'll try and reinforce Ilhart. I don't know. But I'm hoping that. Um, the Empire and Bretonia are emboldened by my by my attack, and they're going to do I some... You've recruited a couple of Reichsguard. Well, it's not exactly what I was hoping for, but it's, you know, better than nothing, I guess. And over here, we need... Uh, where is it? Which building? That building there, because we need the White Lions. Because Alistair's army needs White Lions in it. I missed Moneypenny... Oh, I missed Moneypenny 2 is over there. What? Actually, 
agents wise agents wise what would i fancy i think a handmaiden got a medic a medic would be good more casualty replenishment is is pretty good but we need more influence for that so you guys let's uh, rack up the influence good work guys you got another skill point uh the great eagle sure that seems fine and we're still under siege here which is a bit of a pain I await your command. oh it's because you're exhausted isn't it shit Lawmaster of Hoth. hinder replenishment which didn't work anyway but never mind uh, okay so we can get we can get uh alina Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. Who is going to replenish troops and be a weapon master and also come and join Alistair? I, will I also order. kind of need a mage. So, what mage could we get? Ridiculed? No, inhibitor. Oh, that's probably don't, don't have any. Flustered? Don't quite understand why that gives. Okay. Um. A Luddite? No, not really. Peaky? Incompetent? No, that's all pretty bad. Meddler? Yeah. Flustered. Okay, well, I'll, maybe I'll wait until I've got some more. Got, well, actually, you summoned me. we've got you, haven't you? What do you do? You're administrator. A I mean, it wouldn't be the worst. Could give you earth blood? Send you down? I mean, I haven't really been doing anything with you, so... Yep, that's what you're going to do. That's your job now. Uh, let's upgrade these bits. That looks pretty good. Okay, let's go and kill Malekith. Prince of Elfwood. Yep, we're going to declare war. We're going to call our allies to help. All of who have joined us. Nice. I think he was at war with some of them anyway. Uh, oh, the Von Ka Well, yeah, well. Shall live. Okay, really? You don't like my chances. Well, a strong I do. Is Malachi's force is... Well, he's, it's all the single ladies. And single, probably, because they've killed their significant other. Uh, it's a whole bunch of Sisters of Slaughter and some Witch Elves. There's some... Blackguard and Bleak Swords mixed in there as well, but it's mostly Sisters of Slaughter. Now, I I've sort of underestimated the Sisters of Slaughter. To be fair, they're not particularly good when they get shot at, but in combat they have ridiculous levels of melee defense. There's Malekith getting stuck in there, um, so it's going to be very tough for my Treekin and Lothar and Seaguard to actually beat them in combat. And I should have realised this, and I didn't. So, so far, we've engaged all on the line. Our Silver Helms have charged in. So, we've hit the Witch Elves here. We've done a lot of damage, but they're refusing to break. And over here, we've got uh, Gilgalian and the Silver Helms have charged a unit of Sisters of Slaughter. And again, a lot of damage there, but refusing to break. Silver Helms now breaking away. They're going to try and help the uh, Melchit. Or, not Melchit, even, sorry, Michaela. So we're going to get a little charge off here. There goes Murderous Prowess. We get a reasonably good charge there. I think that's pretty good. But again, they refuse to break. We're in trouble here as a unit of Black Guard advance on the other unit of Silver Helms. And I can do nothing about it because they've gone out of control. Meanwhile, the battle line not looking particularly great. The Sisters, or the Witch Elves over here, have managed to break through. The Treekin are holding for the moment, but they're not doing much damage in return. And on the left flank... We've got uh, fresh units fighting our Lothar and Seaguard. So now I finally do what I should have done, and that is use my archers. So unit of Lothar and Seaguard is going to get behind the Sisters of Slaughter, and this is what we needed to do. So they're going to hit into the flank. Just start wildly shooting. There we go. As you can see, that's doing a fair amount of damage there. Lots of arrows being stuck in the back and the neck. And they're going to go down. That's going to then free up another unit, which can then turn on the flank. That's going to free up another unit, and so on and so forth. And that's what we needed to have done, really. Out, 
unfortunately bob is in a little bit of trouble but she's also gone mental because of the witch elves they have um their weapon attacks make units go out of control so bob's out of control i can do nothing to pull these units out of the fight uh, same over here as you can see gilgalian and michaela completely surrounded and my silver helms have only just come back to the fight and i need them to go and help the sisters of avalon over here otherwise i've got no chance of defeating this blob of troops michaela is going to break and uh, run away he's, he's got 24 health left 24 health and he's managing to get away eight health he took an arrow to the back eight health he's managing to get away uh gilgalian is still fighting Michaela's away with zero health. He has zero health and he's still alive somehow. He's got like 0.1 health and still alive. The their flank sisters of Avalon continue to do their stuff. The Silver Helms, who returns to the fight, trying to cut down some of the... I mean, look, this unit of Sisters of Slaughter has got three... It's got 37 health left. Hasn't broken. Still has 38 fucking leadership. Fortunately, army losses have managed to reach a level... As you can see, our units were flanking around the side there. And finally, the army does break and run, but Gilgalian took a lot of damage, and we lost Bob in the ensuing chaos, unfortunately. Uh, can we find Bob? No, Bob's in the pile of corpses somewhere. Uh, a ser seriously underestimated Sisters of Slaughter there. I'll know better next time. Holy balls, that was a bit harder than I sodding thought it would be. Jesus Christ. Well, um, Michaela's okay, but unfortunately we lost Mucha. Press, press F for respect, as is the High Elven tradition. She'll be loaded into an Eagle Claw Bolt Thrower and fired into the Vortex. Sort of like Spock was at the end of the Wrath of Khan. But obviously not on a starship by an equal claw bolt thrower. Um, obviously we need to make, wait until rigor mortis sets in to make sure she's she can fly as straight as possible. But there we go. Uh, okay, so we're going to need another handmaid. But at least Malak is dead. So that's a win. Whew. Uh, and Gilgalian's got Frenzy. Immortal Unbeloved. There we go. Yeah, well, that... Hmm. That's a thing, isn't it? I, you know what? I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to upgrade that. I'm going to get the handmaiden building here so I can recruit another handmaiden. I await your command. Uh, we need more influence as well to be able to recruit one. Marathi is... A, I, I think they don't have many armies. I mean, they've still got a fairly sizable empire. It's going to take a little while to sort of break through. But um, I don't think it's too bad. Rowan, you should be able to hit the walls next turn. Hopefully you can knock them down. Destruction. Uh, success there. Good job. Let's get uh, Earth Blood for no other reason. I oh, I can't be bothered to get the blood, the Red Desert. Oh, but the problem is, if they get a Lord there, they can recruit Reaper Bolt Throwers and Harpies and Shades and all kinds of horrible things, which isn't great. Of the Phoenix Throne. Uh, but Gilgalian did manage to get a skill point, so you know it's not it's not all bad. It's not all bad news. Uh, we can get Bowmaster, so that's what he's going to do. And Harriet Harmon did quite quite well in that last battle, I thought. Um, let's get. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about the comet. I'm going to try it. I, from what I remember, it was a bit garbage, but we're going to give it another shot. See what happens. Itchy, you can get the dwellers below. Um, Tekalis has picked up another skill point, which we're definitely going to go with. Could get Order of Law Masters. Glamour would be, I mean, that's plus 10% physical resistance in a 55 meter around him. Really? Well, that seems too good not to get, so we're definitely going to grab that. Done. And, uh, Tyra Banks here is going to get uh, hard to hit. That's that's his thing. Who the hell are you? Oh, right. Yes. Right. Good. Um, Standing by. Oh, you're still free. Servant of the tower. Same turn, isn't it? I remember. It's fine. Uh, let's go damage walls with you. 
settlement upgrade available yep sure get that i guess uh, i'm gonna save the rest of the money i think i should go around and upgrade buildings but um don't have the time jesus balthazar you are all are welcome in my court hi thorgrim a military alliance uh yeah sure you do not have much do you You're doing your best, though, by the looks of it. I guess a lot of the green skins have moved northward. So maybe it's giving you a chance. Oh, there's Skarsnik. Skarsnik's back. Okay, you're reinforcing Montfort. Well, they've got another army to reinforce Eelhart, but it's less of an army. To be honest, I could really do with some law masters over here to knock holes in walls for me. They don't even need to be actually any good. Where's Marathi going? I mean, I'd suggest that my army is probably not strong enough to defeat her, because otherwise she wouldn't be sailing past. What? What is it about that city that's apparently getting all the... Is there a music festival on? Because... There's a whole bunch of angry goat people and now a bunch of angry green skins arrived and they they look like the kind of people that would love a good good music festival. They're both a little bit metal, you know what I mean? The gods The gods what? Just in, just in general? Okay, good. Uh Hag Green has stolen stuff. We've got Well, a shit ton of Boar boy biggins heading for us. Excellent. Good stuff. Lovely. Um, fab. Okay. Might have some trouble there. We are recruiting an army to deal with that. So hopefully they can deal with it. Yes. Let's get Teclis down here. Oh, hello. There's a, there's a green skin army there. I, you know what? I think we can take this. I think we can take this. I don't think we need siege equipment either. Yeah. A strong leader is needed. I never tire. Seeking the foe. Let's see if we can take Eelhart back from the Vampiric Hordes. So we've got both General Melchit and, of course, Tekalis himself in the fight. And we're going to use our archers to the best of our ability. So already a huge barrage of fire has, well, done a lot. I mean, you can see the, the ghouls just getting ripped to shreds there. Here comes Teclis's force. We've got a Phoenix. There goes a Fiery Convocation. That gets, that's going to do quite well. Quite nice one there. How many kills did he get? 18. Not bad. Not bad, darling. So lots of arrow fire. You can see the Vampire of Death there getting riddled with arrow fire. How you doing? You alright there? Got a, got a few, few arrows in the side of your face. 
Pro probably should find some cover if I were you, but sure, whatever. So she's taking a lot of fire. Uh, here comes the dragon and Teclis's two phoenixes. That means we've got three phoenixes and a dragon. And his archers and phoenix guard moving up to support. So far, so good. And down goes the tower. So our archers are running a little bit low on ammo. But the walls pretty much... I mean, the last few units on the walls there, not looking very happy about things. They're moving, going to move reinforcements. We do have a unit of Graveguard and Graveguard with great weapons. They're going to move up as well. We need to take the, the door out now. So we're going to concentrate the bolt throws on the door. Take that out. Then we will move our Phoenix Guard through the gate. And what I'm hoping is that all of these knights, all of these Graveguard will come and blob up. And then we can hit them in the rear with our with our flying squadron. Tekla is dropping a little flock of doom there. And here comes our Phoenix Guard. There's our little command group at the uh, the front. So there's Captain Darling. And that's uh, Tyra Blanks. Uh, there's Teclis and Itchy. Where, where's Melchit? Melchit's back there. Melchit's leading the Lothurn Sea Guard. That's what he's doing. Uh, in the centre of the city, we do have uh, quite a large flying force from the enemy. They've got three units of Vargeists and a several units of Vampire Bats and a unit of Crypt uh, Horrors being held in reserve as well. This Grave Guard try and take up position on the wall just in case. I guess we, we climb up it, but um, they're just getting wrecked by arrow fire. Uh, that vampire. It's, it's very brave to stand there. But um, she's got several arrows in her face. Which is not a good look. But, you know, you have... I mean, she, she's tanking arrows with her face. You have to give it to her. And with the gates down, our Phoenix Guard is going to move into position. They've still got several units of Grave Guard and some Black Knights and some Blood Knights. And of course, their, their Strigoi Ghoul King, General. Let's see, we're starting to run out of ammo now. And to be fair, we have been firing everything we've got. Doing a huge chunk of damage. I mean, we haven't even fought in melee yet. And you can see the enemy forces have lost over 500. Yeah, almost 500. To just arrow fire alone. And in come the Phoenix Guard. There's a Vargulf here. Just waiting for us. We have... We do have Itchy here who's going to can heal up our unit. So he's going to just heal up the blob. And you can see the Vargov charges straight in, sends, sends a couple of Phoenix Guard flying. But they turn on him and they've got him surrounded. They're going to cut him up. So far, so good. The the enemy units, I think maybe they know I've got units waiting to charge him in the rear. So they're sort of they're sort of reluctant to get in, to join in. But uh, as you can see, the Vargolf is now completely surrounded and uh, losing health quite rapidly. Getting chopped to bits. And finally, some units actually moving in to engage. Got some Grave Guard. They're going to clash. And they're going to move the Blood Knights and Black Knights in as well. Vargolf losing health very rapidly now. He's crumbling. Down he goes. They've still got some units on the wall, but not very many. 
And our bolt throw is continuing to open fire. Any units that have arrows continuing to, to pick off. In goes the, the Black Knights and the Blood Knights. And that's what we've been waiting for. So the flying units coming in behind the enemy. There's Melchid and Tekalis fighting side by side. And the knights are completely surrounded. The dragon's going mental. And of course, those are those are mounted units against Phoenix Guard. We have had another unit of black knights come and charge us in the rear, but we're going to heal up. And we've got sword masters now moving up to uh, chop them down. The bolt throw is even firing through the gates where it can see them. Enemy generals in the middle there. He is absolutely surrounded by dragons and phoenixes. And of course, Phoenix Guard and Melchin and Teclis and Michaela all in there. So he's not going to last very long. It's a big old blob. The rest of their units not currently doing anything. Sort of moving back and forth a little bit, but not actually getting involved. They still have control of this tower over here, which has been sniping. And my Lothar and Sea Guard. I'm not overly concerned about that because they're not going to do too... I mean, well, they're doing damage, but it's not going to be... It's not actually horrendous. I could probably move them out of range, but I'm worried it might, it might go for my bolt thrower then. Enemy General is crumbling. Bob and uh, General Melchit double-teaming him. There he goes. He's dead. Last few Graveguard crumbling. More knights come charging in. They get counter-charged by the phoenixes. Of course, the phoenix is also going to debuff them. So, is that melee attack as well? Yeah, so their melee attack is actually 15 for the black knights, which means they don't actually do an awful lot of damage. Right away. And then against the phoenix guard, black knights just getting chopped to bits. And then crumbling, and we now hold the gate. There are still some units on the walls, so the phoenixes and dragons are going to come and or phoenix and dragon going to come down, land amongst them, start chopping them to pieces. There we go. Eat a few of them. Try and uh, stop that tower from firing. Just a few grave guard still surviving. Now we just need to take the city centre. It's not going to be too difficult because they only have Vargeists who are going to lose very, very badly against Phoenix Guard. And, of course, the Vampire Bats who lose badly against, well, anyone, really. The flying Squad doing good work there, just killing off the last few of the Grave Guard on the wall while our infantry go and do their job. I never tire. To war for the king. Tireless. So there's the Vargeist there flapping around. We've got some crypt horrors as well on the ground, but um, really, it's it's just a matter of time now. As we move, I'm gonna I'm gonna trap them. So we've got two squads. Three Phoenix Guard there, a couple of units of uh, Sword Masters, and um, another couple of units of Phoenix Guard, some more Sword Masters, and this unit is being led by Teclis and Tyra, and this one over here by Itchy, Bob, Captain Darling, and General Melchit. There's just a few. 21 Grave Guard left. See piles of graveguard and uh, black knights just lying all over the floor at the city gate. I don't think we've actually got many. There's a few phoenix guard there, but comparatively, very, very few. So units now moving up through the city. And the Vargeist are heading, making a beeline for Teclis and his, his detachment. Uh, 
and here they come. So they sort of try and do a little bo dive bombing attack sort of land and uh, knock some of my units over and in they come. So the Phoenix Guard have them surrounded and you're going to watch them as they very very quickly start losing a lot of health. Vargeist are a fantastic unit but only used um, like shock cavalry. Only when you use like shock cavalry. You don't charge them into the mi midst of anti-large units. That tends to tends to go very badly for them. You can see Vargeist being chopped down very very quickly. Health dropping rapidly and army losses starting to mount. The undead are going to start crumbling. Down they go. And a nice easy win. Nice and easy there. Uh, there's 100, kill 140, 1,404 undead. It's not it bad. No. Now. Do I want to sack it, raise it? I mean, I don't want to keep it. Search out anything of value. My Let's sack it. Rewarded. I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so, uh, oh, we had, a, we had an objective to do that as well. That was mission, little mission there to do that. We've killed one of their armies, which I is is help. good. Guardian We're not going to take attrition, which back. is even better. Can we? Well, we may, might be able to draw them into an ambush potentially. Maybe. I mean, probably not, but maybe. Uh, let's get a Great Eagle, because then we can get a Sun sun Dragon, and then a Star Dragon. So I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, good. Good. And unfortunately, we are running out of time, so I'm going to have to leave it there. We've got a little Durbok, who has a lot of friggin' Giants and a lot of Black Orcs. So that's going to be fun to fight if he has this way. Um, otherwise, I think I think it's going okay. It's, it's kind of slowed down a bit, because we've been having to fight Chaos, and uh, obviously there's lots of... Uh, Lots of tough armies wandering around. That battle against Malekith was a bit of a surprise. Didn't think that would be so difficult, but uh, it's going to take Gilgadian a little while to recover from that, I think. Let's head him back to Shock Track Mountain. That should that should help, and we can get uh, the that one. Handmaiden's Gallery will build there, and we'll get some influence and get a Mucha too. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.